welcome to one of the most exciting vlogs on my channel ever. I'm so excited for this vlog. Basically, we're going to Liverpool. If you watch my birthday vlog, you will know this. And the Liverpool vlog is starting right now. I am absolutely knackered right now. So don't judge me if I seem really weird. Like I've had, I've done like a seven hour, no, not seven. I've done like a nine hour shift. Then we set up at work for somebody's well, for Jane's leave and do, which was amazing. And then um, I also had um, some Prosecco and I've barely eaten today. So I just feel so tired, you know, when you just literally crave going to bed. So ignore if I'm a little bit weird, but we're starting the Liverpool vlog with the pack with me. So I'm going to be packing um, all my stuff that I'm going to be taking with me. And I'm so excited. Literally, I am so excited for this weekend. You guys do not understand like i think this is the first ever weekend away i've ever taken you on um and i'm determined to vlog i'm determined to get some good content um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna flip you around show you what's in my current case and then we're gonna go through outfits and pick it and hopefully i'll be packed in the next 10 minutes fingers crossed because i want to have a bath and go to bed um and then we're going to liverpool tomorrow so i'm so excited it's gonna be a really good vlog so yeah also by the way we're going to liverpool to celebrate my 23rd birthday we're not just like randomly going um and i've literally just come in from work hence why i look like this <laughs> so this is the current case so i have a lot of important things in here we've got balloons we've got a balloon blower if that's the word we've got um party cups and we've got three pairs of heels um and some underwear and a birthday banner very very important basically i'm thinking of possibly taking these out um because these are just for photo purposes i'm actually not going to be wearing these um at all out in Liverpool because they're too uncomfortable so I'm going to take them out because there's no point filling my case with things like that I'm not going to wear so I'm going to just take these two pairs of heels because these are too these are comfy this is for my meal and this is for when we go bougie tomorrow um so the first thing I'm going to put in is I've just got this delivery from like from Femlux so I'm working with them and I'm really excited about working with them so I've been sent two absolutely gorgeous dresses I'm going to pop these in because to be honest we never know like we might end up going to a different bar or something um and i need to get photos for these so i might end up getting them this weekend so i'm going to pop them in um we'll see if i wear them or not but i might as well because i might as well like do two birds with one stone and get content while um while i'm there because the hotel is so nice so yeah or even i might be able to even convince jake to take a street picture in a dress so we'll see what happens um but these are the outfits that i'm thinking so this is my basically right I don't know what to do guys because it's 2nd of September today um, and that means it's technically autumn and it was freezing this morning but then the sun came out and it was 18 degrees. So are we packing for autumn now or are we packing for summer still? I don't know what to wear. I'm in a bit of a funny situation like I think I'm just going to end up really over packing because I don't have a clue what to pack and what to wear um, which is a little bit annoying. So the selection is this Zara sweater which has like the fur around it and this with jeans is dead cute but is it too wintry i'm not sure so that is maybe an outfit then i have this i'm definitely taking this with me i bought this with my birthday money yesterday in town um and i love it and i can wear this with jeans or a skirt um and it's kind of like autumn but also summer because it's like see-through and also spring as well to be fair so um this is just perfect for like all seasons and it'll be nice if it's warm or if it's cold. So I think I'm going to pack this because it's really cute and I can just wear it with jeans um, or like shorts and stuff. So I'm definitely, definitely taking that. So that needs to go in the case with my jeans, which are here. So that is one outfit that needs to be packed and my blazer probably is going in there as well. So this is the outfit I'm wearing tomorrow, so I'm not gonna pack it because I'm actually gonna wear this to go in to Liverpool. Um, so it's this kind of Wonder Doll inspired set. It's actually for sale on my business, Official Princess Couture, which is always linked in the description if you're ever interested in any of the clothes that I do mention. So I'm gonna be wearing this tomorrow with my white um, Chanel trainers, my big LV bag, um, and maybe a coat, maybe not, maybe a denim jacket, we'll see what the weather's like. So I'm gonna keep that out because obviously I'm wearing it tomorrow. 
so this is another out outfit i'm gonna pack with me because this is like summery and spring but at the same time it's really warm because it's really thick like it's quite thick fabric so if this is in full sun you get too hot but if it's like maybe autumn it's not too bad so i think i'm gonna pack this because it's really casual as well and comfy um so that means I've got that outfit, I'm going in that one, I've got this with jeans, and then I think I'm going to pack one more outfit, which I think is going to be these jeans, um, a casual top and a blazer, because I think that's just an easy outfit to throw on. So I think that's going to be like my four main outfits, um, like my four main casual outfits for like shopping, going for breakfast, walking around Liverpool, that type of thing. Um... And then for going out outfits, I have a few options. So this is the first option. You'll probably recognise this dress from my mum's um, Hindu um, vlog. This is the pink one and I also have it in white. Once again, these are from my own business, um, Official Princess Couture. So I've got the white one and the pink one. I think this is going to be the last thing that I pack because I can't decide which one I want. Um... Because I'm going to be wearing this to the florist, which is really fitting because it's like got these all embroidered flowers on. And I'm going to be wearing whichever one with my white wedges, which are here. Um, so, yeah, I need to decide. But I think I might get um, Jake to have a look at them and see what he thinks. Because I can't decide. Um, but I'm definitely wearing this outfit for bougie. So, I'm going to pack this now as well. So, now that is all packed. So now I just need, I think I need some casual shoes um, and I need a top to go with that blazer. Oh, and I still need to pack my dress for bougie. Um, so these are still bits that I need to pack and decide on my kit. It's so full as well, literally, like, guys, help me. Um, so I need to find a casual top. I'm probably going to go for my Balmain one because I wear it all the time and I love it so much so yeah I'm probably gonna take this um I did order a white one but it's not come so if it does come in the morning then I'll take that instead but I think I'm gonna pack this one because it goes with everything I've managed to squeeze a pile of clothes in here the only things I added was the dress that I'm wearing for bougie my pink laser and just a white vest top just in case I'll pack my underwear my socks and I'm just sorting toiletries so I need a special shampoo condition for my hair extensions um and then I popped in a body wash and just a normal shampoo um I don't know if I'll need them. I don't know if the hotel comes with them or not, but yeah, I don't know. Um, and then also just my Hay Estrid razor, which I love so much. I've just taken my work stuff out of my bag, so that's clear to pack up as well. And then I also brought my other bag out because I put my birthday stuff in there. So I put like my banner. Um, I'm going to put, I've got my umbrella, balloons, cups. I'm going to put alcohol in there and then like makeup and stuff because basically I just don't have enough space in this case. I'm a massive overpacker now and I'd rather have all the outfits that I want and then I have a choice when I get there. Um, so yeah, I'm almost, almost packed I think. I just need hair and makeup um, stuff and like moisturiser but obviously I'll be using that in the morning along with like, did I say moisturiser probably, perfume, all that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm probably going to finish off in the morning um, and then I just need opinions on these. So I'm deciding between my Burberry coat and my Santini coat. I think I might go for the Burberry one because this might be a little bit warm and I also don't want to get it ruined. Um, and then my other options are obviously between these two dresses. So yeah, I think I've decided on the Burberry one to be fair. Um, so I'm going to pack that now and then decide between these. All sorted guys, so... I'm going to move this downstairs now, put my camera in charge, end the vlog for tonight and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning going to Liverpool in my little white set. We'll probably end up doing like drive through Starbucks or something. But yeah, I'm really excited to vlog the trip and yeah, I'm just so excited for this so I hope you enjoy the vlog. Good morning guys, so I'm in the outfit that I was talking about yesterday, all ready to go. We're literally just finishing up before we go, we just had a bit of breakfast, um, saying off a tiny tiny bit later than expected but it doesn't really matter because checking isn't until three anyway um i've just got my hair in a roller because i've just ran some like loose curls through it so the last thing i need to pop in my case is my curler um so yeah i've managed to actually pretty much clean my room as well so it doesn't look too bad at all um i really hope the weather picks up because it doesn't look great at the minute um but we're literally just obviously traveling so I'm going in the set and trainers and my coat. Um, I've only brought three coats with me, so it's not too bad for like three days because I don't understand what the weather's going to be like this while we're here. Um, 
but yeah I'm honestly so tired but we're gonna get set off in a minute so I'm gonna fish, finish packing my case and then sign off. Guess where we are? Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Box. Getting the pumpkin spice latte to try for the first time this year. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's go. Let's go to Liverpool. <laughs> I'll have to hold them, won't I? just arrived this is the room I'll do a little room tour for you guys so we've got a little table and chairs the massive bed telly this is our view quite a cute view and then we've got a little kitchen in the apartment so we've got like a toaster and everything in here Put some pans, air conditioning, cute little hotel. That'll definitely take my photos against there tonight. But yeah, so cute. I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom. <laughs> Just basic really. Yeah. So we're walking to Liverpool One shopping centre, do a little bit of shopping, it's literally like 4 o'clock so hopefully we're up and late. Um, and then we've got plans for tonight so we're probably going to get some food here as well. I'm just wearing the same outfit with my coat, it's not that cold really though, it's about 16 degrees today, it's not bad. But we're so close to the centre, pretty buildings. Sarah shopping. You are. I'm just vlogging. <laughs> I love these pants so much, but I don't know if I like this split hem, so I might need to try them on. Or I'll just buy them and try them on in the hotel room, maybe. But yeah. So this Sarah this is so good. In Liverpool, it's literally so much better than the Leeds one. So we ended up in Byron. I've got wings. This is quite big for a small as well. Yeah. Halloumi fries, nice sweet potato, yum. Getting set up, drinking <laughs> these cans. Look how cute it is in here. Look 
Look at this. Look at this healing. Oh my god, this is actual men. There's actual men's body there. Look, there's actual men's body. Good morning guys, well it's not really morning, it's more afternoon. I'm going out for some sort of brunch or breakfast. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys along with me today. I'm so tired. <laughs> so today I'm just wearing this outfit from Daisy Bespoke and my trainers but it's quite warm today. And I've just washed my hair so it's a little bit frizzy. But we'll see what we get up to. So sunny today. So we're going to find somewhere to eat and then we're going to do a little bit of shopping again. What a beautiful sight. Look how cute this is. We're in H&M home. Oh, look at that. So just opened my dresses from Femlook. So I've been sent this cream one. Um, it doesn't say what it's called. So I'm not sure which one this is called, but it's got this like corset detail. It looks really comfy actually, so I'm excited to try that on. And I've also been sent this one, which is strapless, and it's like a corset top. Um, Again, it doesn't say what it's called. I thought they used to say what they were called on the tags. Um, but I'm not sure. I got them both in a size 6. So hopefully they fit. Um, obviously this one's sat in with the ruching. So I'm going to take a photo in this one in the room. And then see if we get time to take a photo in this. If not, I'll do it next week. Um, but I'll show you this one on now. And I'll see you try on my Zara stuff. So this is the Zara dress on. It's so nice. But I'm not going to be keeping it. I just don't think it's very flattering on me. Like here. Um, but it's really nice dress and it's actually really comfy so this is the extra small I'm actually really happy I went for the extra small because the small would have been too big because this fits pretty perfect um, and I thought it was a massive slip but it's not, it just looks like that cute though so I've got my Femlux dress on this is actually so nice thank you so much Femlux for sending this to me I wish I could wear this tonight but I've already got my outfit sorted but I love this. If we were staying another night, I'd definitely wear this tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. I'll show you the next one later on once we get back. But I'm going to take a quick pick in this and then get changed for the florist. We're just about to set off. It, it wouldn't focus. Um, so yeah, I've just got changed. I'm wearing the dress that I actually wore on my mum's hand so you might recognise this. Um, it's once again from... Princess Couture, which is always linked in the bio. Um, I've got my necklace on from Timeless Lux Designs. Um, and yeah, we're all ready to go. I've just given the room a little clean, even though it doesn't really look very clean at all. Um, but yeah, it's so sunny as well, so we'll go and check in with you guys when we get there. This is just a full length of the dress, so you guys can see. I've got it in white as well. And then it's got like a little cut out at the back. I can't even. It's not really cool, to be fair. I've just realised, look, Kelly Willie. So I've just done my photos for Femlux. We just took them on the street because it's just sunsetting. So got some nice pics. I'm just wearing the white wedges, the Femlux dress, the one that I haven't shown you guys yet. And then my pink blazer, which is from Princess Couture, which is always linked. And I'm going to take all this off now and get into bed. We're going to have an early night because we're so tired. And we're traveling home tomorrow. 
so i'll vlog in the morning tomorrow and we'll see what we get up to so i'll see you guys in the morning guys excuse the mess of the room but how nice like waking up to this sun and i'm wearing my coldest outfit today as well <laughs> it's so sunny so sunny i'm gonna go through and clean the room a little bit now jake's in the shower i've been packing up so all this stuff is there everything's out the fridge and i pretty much packed my stuff up so i need to get dressed i'm gonna be wearing this outfit today but we're heading out for breakfast and to do the docks and i think we're gonna come back um so i'm gonna get changed into like a more summery outfit when i come back because this must be one of the last hot weekends in september um, of the year because it's the first weekend in september and it's so warm it's been literally like 18 degrees this weekend we've done so well um so yeah i'll show you my outfit when i pop it on good morning guys so it's sunday today and i'm definitely gonna be too warm today but i'm just wearing these jeans my dior sliders my top from around that i showed you the other day my burberry trench and i'm going out to get mackie's breakfast because um we're leaving soon so yeah almost packed up just got the last few bits to pack up and then we're so breakfast time guys i can't believe we're waiting to check out literally waiting to check out packed everything up jake's just gone to get the last suitcase but all of our stuff is here and then luckily we're not going home yet we've still got like four hours here thank god so we're going to like Zara and stuff Primark so yeah oh my god I'm so excited it's massive where do we start so I picked up some joggers and this little jacket Oh my god, do we go up or down first? Yeah. What's on the... Oh no, that's men's. Men's is down... We don't need that. Do you want men's? Okay. <laughs> Just spotted these. I love these so much. I'm thinking like I could wear them with jeans. And like jumper dresses. Because I don't actually own any brown short boots. I don't have anything. So if I can find some with a heel then maybe. But I do like these. Oh, there's these, but I feel like I prefer these ones. I don't know if I like these or not. Let me know what you think. I don't know. I can't decide. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Liverpool so much and how I was gonna say there's no roadworks there's actually loads but it's still so nice just took selfies <laughs> all shopped out in Cheshire Rooks doing a little bit of shopping Jake's done more shopping than me <laughs> time time to go home we're not happy about it wish I could stay here forever <laughs> so I've literally just arrived home I'm so tired absolutely shattered I cannot wait to get in the bath and go to bed um, but I'm going to show you what I got from Primark um, because I got a couple bits in Liverpool um, and then I'm going to unpack um, I've also had a delivery which I think is from Shein and a couple of other deliveries so I'm going to show you these so I got this Unreal um, Balmain top from Depop I'm so happy I got this I'm worried it's going to be a little bit big for me but I think when it's like tucked in it should be okay um, I have a pink one and I love it so I got the white one I got it on Depop obviously it's second hand so it's not perfect but I got a really really good bargain on this I think it was like £30 um, so I love this so much and then I also bought this which I know is a little bit of a weird purchase but 
I don't have a small Louis Vuitton bag so I think this was like £4 or £5 or something but basically I got it for display so I'm going to pop it where my pink bag is um, because I don't have... I don't have one of these and I really wanted one for display so I picked that up um, and she sent me a little note as well so this is from Thrifty Little Hippie on Depop and then I also bought this decal from eBay um, so I'm going to paint this tomorrow and pop it up on my wall so that's going to be in my little bedroom renovation vlog which will be going up soon um, but basically it's going to go above my door I think that's going to look so cute because I did these the other day so yeah it's going to go up there um, which I'm really excited about um, I've ordered a couple more as well but they've not come yet um, some smaller ones and then I'm going to show you what I got from Shein which I'm sure this is Shein and then I'm going to show you my Primark stuff as well. So I've literally just put all my stuff away um, so I've just unpacked some stuff um, and just sorted my clothes out. I just wanted to quickly show you like how my wardrobes are kind of looking because I have recently had quite a big clear out. I still need to kind of go through some of this stuff and clear out some shoes and some scarves and stuff that I don't use um, and there's a few bits for sale that I need to put on as well um but this is kind of how my wardrobes are currently looking ignore all the stuff at the bottom um that's where i put all my sweets and chocolate um and food and stuff and then i've got some bags and shoes down here which there just isn't enough space for like knee-high boots and stuff um and then behind there i've got my shoes for new york i don't know if you can't even see them they're just hiding my big snow boots um and then these are this is basically my work wardrobe so i come here when i have work and go through all my stuff. It's a little bit busy up there. There's a lot of hangers going on. Um, but yeah, this is where I just put all my stuff for work. Basically black and white clothes. And then all my shoes and bags. Like I said, they just need a little organise. Um, I'm putting all these clothes on Depop tomorrow. So that's why they're here. Um, and then these are basically the main clothes that I wear every day. So they're all in here. I've just had a little rearrange. Obviously, if I didn't have to have my coats in here, then I'd have a lot more room. But because I have to have my coats in here, everything's a little bit squished. But I do go through this really regularly and sell a lot of clothes um, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I need to go through and like probably go through it again. Um, but yeah, I could do with really like, somewhere to put my coats because my coats literally take up half. Like, look how spaced out them hangers are compared to them ones because of my coats. So yeah, I really could do with putting them somewhere else, but I don't have anywhere right now. Um, and then, so literally all my clothes are there. And then I just have, in the bottom here, I have jeans and a really big cardigan. And in here I have gym wear and joggers and like lounge wear. That's it. So that's all my clothes. I do pretty well to be fair, squishing it all in. Um, but like I said, that's going on Depop tomorrow. So are they. I've just sorted all my birthday stuff out and unboxed it all. So I've got my candle out there. And then my other candle is on there. Um, I need to put my photo frame up. And then that's there because I'm taking um, a TikTok for that tomorrow. Um, I'm going to leave this out because I'm painting it tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go through my Shein stuff and then I'm going to show you what I got from Primark. So from Primark I picked up this brown trench and I have actually had one like this before. Um, so I had one from Primark last year and I also had a Burberry one. Um, but my Burberry one is for sale and I ended up selling my Primark one because I don't really know why. I basically sold my Primark one so I, would, so I could get a Burberry one. And then I didn't like the Burberry one. It was too oversized and really heavy. So I ended up not having one. So I picked this up this year. Um, and I love it. I've only tried it on once, but this is going to be literally a key staple for me. Like autumn, winter, I love stuff like this. Um, and I'll wear this with like jumpers and jeans all through autumn, winter. Um, so this was thirty pounds, um, and I got a size eight, so I can put like jumpers underneath. Um, but it's so nice. It looks really expensive, like how it's got the dark brown buttons. And I've got some really nice dark brown boots that I'm gonna wear with this as well. And it'll look really nice with my bag. Um, but yeah, I really love that. And then I also picked up these leggings. Um, so basically I'm going to return my other Zara leggings. They're in the Primark bag at the minute. I need to return them. But these were £15 and I got a size 8 again. Um, I'm literally in between like a 6 and an 8. But I really like these. Um, I like how they're like raw cut as well. Um, but yeah, I really like them. They've got a zip in the side. They're really comfy and like really soft suede fabric. 
Um, I'll probably show them on at some point, but they're honestly so nice. And they've literally got the exact same ones in Zara for like £10 more. So I'm really happy I got these. Um, I think they might even have other colours as well. So have a look because these are great. Um, this with a cream jumper. Love it. Maybe even with that on. So yeah, I love them so much. So I've just unboxed the big package and of course it was from Shein. So thank you so much guys. I'm so excited for this. Um, one thing is though, I thought this was pink and it's red. This is kind of not me, but we'll see. We'll try and style it. Um, hopefully it looks a little bit pink pinker in photos because I would never wear red and white. But yeah, we'll see. Um, so I really like the look of everything. It looks so nice. So thank you so much Shein and Scintillate Talent. Um, um, for this collaboration I'm so grateful as always I'm really intrigued to open this and but basically I'm not going to be opening this in the vlog I'm probably going to do an unboxing on TikTok or in another YouTube video so stay tuned for that if you do want to see what I got but I am really excited to open all of this so thank you so much guys for watching my come to Liverpool vlog with me. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm so tired now so I'm literally going to go to bed. But I really do hope you enjoyed the vlog and seeing what I got up to for my birthday weekend. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog. And if you did like it, please smash a huge thumbs up as well. And subscribe. Bye guys.